In this video I'm going to show you how you can run Steam VR through Xvaland on your Wayland session. So if you're using Wayland and want to get Steam VR running, you need to um, do some extra steps to get it to work. And also if you want to follow along with this tutorial, you will need to make sure that you run KD Plasma starting at version 5.24 or you're running a recent version of Sway because um, only these two support uh, DRM leasing which is um, necessary to get a video signal on your actual VR headset. If you are running anything else like a GNOME on Wayland, you uh, can't make it work because yeah, it's not supported in GNOME and their window managing system. So uh, yeah, KD Plasma or Sway it is, and um, if you have one of those, you can or you should be able to follow along with this tutorial. And you also need uh, xwayland 22.1, so a pretty recent version. On Arch you already have that, so if you are on Arch and updated your system, you should have um, the newest version on X of Xvaland and it should be no problem. But maybe on another distribution you need to check if you have Xvaland 22.1, because if you don't have that, then you also can't um, make it work. So at first you just install Steam um, like you would normally through your package manager. In my case I'm on Arch, so I just installed it um, through the Multilib repository. But yeah, just install it like you would normally, or maybe you already have it installed. And you can just open Steam, and uh, you can just install Steam VR inside of Steam. So if you don't have the Steam VR button here, you just need to um, go to the store and just install Steam VR regularly. And then you have your library, and um, yeah. Then you can, then you also have this um, start Steam VR button right here. But if you want to click it, then you will uh, see, I can demonstrate it here. Um, then you will see that you get an error message. Let me see, yeah, it's popping up. And there you go, you see um, a key component of Steam VR isn't working properly. And that's because um, Asynchronous reprojection is not supported in Xvaland, or at least it is supported, but there's an error with the Mesa or Mesa drivers. And maybe, so maybe if you are using an Nvidia card, you don't even have that problem. But since I'm on an AMD graphics card, um, there's an issue with like with like the newer Mesa versions. So you can either downgrade the Mesa versions to fix it, but um, yeah, I don't want to do that. So I will show you how you can uh, fix it without like downgrading your graphics drivers. So um, the first thing is to close Steam VR again, and might as well close Steam. And um, you need to disable asynchronous asynchronous reprojection in the Steam VR settings. So um, to do that, I just open the terminal for you. And uh, the config file. So you need to edit the config file to do it. There's no GUI option, sadly, but it's pretty simple, you just need to add one line to the SteamVR config. So the config is located in, um, let me see data. It's located in, so I'm in my home directory, so it's in this hidden.steam folder. Then inside that there's a Steam folder as well. Then there's a config folder. And there's a SteamVR.VR settings file. So um, that's a file, maybe not CD into there, but uh, that's just edit it directly. So I'll use uh, nano to edit, but you can also use like, um, yeah, Vim if you know Vim, but I don't know, I've not yet learned the Vim binding, so I just use nano to open it. And um, yeah, here we are inside this file. And in that file, you need to scroll down until you get to the Steam VR section. And inside these brackets, you look for uh, enable Linux Vulkan Async. You uh, probably don't have that line, so you can just add it anywhere in these brackets. I will leave it in the description below, so you can just copy it. And then you can just uh, paste it in here, exactly like this. But um, now it's on true, so it's um, enabled. And we need to disable. So if you have it here and it's true already, you can just type in false here. And that will disable um, the asynchronous reprojection. But uh, with that, you also, um, yeah, you lose 
as in quantum sweep projection, obviously, and that's um, kind of a bummer because if you don't get like a solid 90 FPS or solid 120 FPS, you will uh, notice some stuttering and it's not very pleasant. But if we have a pretty beefy system like I do, you can, um, you probably won't even notice it that much. But it's still sad and I hope it will get fixed in the future and I'm sure it will be, but I'm not sure when. So this is the workaround I use um, to get CVR running on, on Wayland or X Wayland rather, because yeah, Wayland is um, not supported, but X Wayland is because it's basically uh, your own X, X server on Wayland. So um, yeah, once you've edited it, you can just hit Control and X to close and then tap in Y or yes, uh, yeah, just confirm and then enter to confirm again. And um, that's all you have to do. And I can close that out. And if I now go into Steam VR again, it should work now. And as you can see, no error here. So um, as you can see, uh, the milliseconds here and put on your headset to wake VR. So yeah, now it's working pretty simple. But one major issue, um, that you have to do is for every game you play, you also need to disable or need to enable legacy reprojection because if you uh, start a game now, the Steam VR home environment will work fine. But if you start a game like, I don't know, any random game, you will probably notice it is uh, stuttering very much. So it's not very pleasant, but um, you need to go in the settings here and under video for every game, you need to go in per application video settings. And for every game you want to play, for example, Beat Saber, you um, need to enable use legacy reproduction mode. So you turn that on and then your starting is gone. And um, that's how you can play your games normally. In the future, maybe if you don't need this workout anymore, make sure you just uh, disable it again because yeah, you only really want to use legacy reproduction if you if you have to and in this case you have to because otherwise your game will lag like crazy and it's not a good experience on the steam vr for linux github page there's also a bug report already for this issue so if you want to contribute to that or if you um, want to read up maybe a couple of weeks or months after this um, video is already solved and if you want to read up on it you can just go to the link in the description i will put it there and uh, someone else just re already reported the bug and um, he also wrote the workaround that I explained in the video so if you want to read up on it again you can also follow the link in the description and other people had the same issue and one actually had another solution but that didn't work for me so yeah your mileage may vary but um, this link is in the description below if you want to see it. So one thing I forgot to mention is that if you have the is issue after you have disabled uh, asynchronous reprojection, that you now get the VR view on your um, actual monitors and not on the headset. And if you want to switch it to direct mode, it is not working. Then there's a pretty simple fix for that as well, because I had this error and um, yeah, it pretty much fixed itself. But um, one thing you can try is you can right click on this headset and just restart headset. This will restart Steam VR, and after that, yeah, it displayed in my headset. But to verify that, you can also, um, if you go into your um, display settings, you will see that um, you will have a third or a second option. If it, if you only have one display, you have a second option there, which says something like a VR headset or I don't know Valve Index or whatever you have. And um, if you restart the headset here, so Steam VR, and um, this will go away and your view should be in the headset. If it's not going away and if you have um, have it still here, you can also try uh, unplugging and replugging your USB from the headset or your uh, actual power cord. That's what I did. So you can actually unplug and replug the power to your headset and then it will go away as a display here and will just um, be used properly. And um, yeah, after that, 
I have I have never had to do it again and it just it just works now. So just a heads up if you have this issue, it's um it should be pretty easy to solve. So um yeah, that's all you need to know. I hope you it you found it helpful and see you in the next one.